Hi friends, welcome to Hoppa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 48 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about try and accept in Python or how to handle exceptions. So that is what we are going to discuss in this video. If you haven't watched all my previous videos in this Python playlist, please try to watch all those videos and then come to this video so that you will get make sense of it. And all the videos in my Python playlist are in a sequence order one by one, right from the scratch to advanced concepts. So let's jump into this today's video. So in this video, as I said, I will be discussing about exception handling. So what I mean by this is normally think about a practical scenarios. Sometimes whenever we write, we write a code and when we try to execute that code, the code may get error out because of some issue or we will usually call it like exception, right? So you, you may face exceptions whenever you try to execute your code because of some reason, right? So in such cases, Usually, instead of showing the direct error message what your code is giving, people will prefer to show some uh, customized error or some generic error. To do that, they usually make use of this try and accept blocks to do that exceptional handling very properly. So let me practically show you this if this is not making sense at this moment. So let me go to Visual Studio Code here. So this is my Visual Studio Code. I have a demo.python file. So this is my file explorer. Let me minimize this. So here, so let's assume I try to use this print statement and I am trying to print something called x variable. And if you closely observe this code, nowhere I have declared nothing about this x variable, right? So if I try to execute this code now, what will happen? It is going to give error. And if you see the entire error message printed here, and this error, may, if you see the exception type, it is name error. And it says x is not defined. That means what is this x variable? I don't know. It is not defined anywhere and this kind of exception called as name error okay so maybe uh, you don't want to show these kind of direct error messages to your end users because end user not make sense of it right so maybe you want to sh handle this exception and then you want to show saying like maybe something went wrong how to do that so for that right always try to use try try block okay so what you usually people try to keep inside the try block is whatever the code you are trying to run try to place all that code inside the try block so here inside the try block i am going to place the code what i want to execute the entire logic in my case it is only print statement in your case or in real time scenarios there may be hundreds hundred lines of code or thousand lines of code right so this is the main code what your program logic is actually and if anything happens inside the try or inside this code block then at that case what we can do there is something called accept block so this accept keyword or accept block going to catch that exception and here you can do whatever you want to do so maybe what i want to do if something error happens inside the try code then directly go to accept block and here simply mention like something went wrong okay so that's it i don't want to show this kind of code and uh, this kind of error like name is not defined or something something so let me save these changes now and now uh, okay let me clear this here cls and now let me execute this python file now if you see it is only printing something went wrong okay sorry there is a typo something went wrong right so why that is happened if you closely observe uh, this magic happened because of the try and accept blocks so try block will contain the code what you want to execute if something goes wrong if some exception happens inside that code then you can cast that exception using this accept block and here whatever you want to do you can do it in my case i am simply printing some generic error message if i go to presentation now the same thing i have said here and if you see the same example here right so try x so x is not defined anywhere so it is going to give error instead of giving that error we are catching that exception here using this accept block and here we are trying to print some generic error and as i said try block lets you test the code what you want to run which may potentially give some errors and accept block lets you to handle the error right how we handle here we handle the error by showing some generic error and there is something called else block also this else block will run when the try block will successfully execute completely or else it will not run but this finally block will run whether the type block try block will success or unsuccess whatever may be the case in all the cases finally block will be run you may be thinking what is the use of that let me show you that uh, practically that kind of usage also now if you see this screenshot here here try 
we are trying to print hello okay and as i said if something goes well if nothing goes wrong inside the try then in that case directly execution will come to else else will run only when try block will execute successfully if something goes wrong in the try block then except will run okay so now in this case what i'm doing if everything is good here in the try then in the else i'm printing nothing went wrong or else here in inside the except block i'm printing saying something went wrong so let me practically execute that code as well see for example here instead of printing x maybe i print hello okay and we know this code will execute successful right so what i will do here below this except block i am using another block called else and inside the else i will print saying everything went good okay so no errors everything went good okay now let me save these changes as i said if this try block executes successful then else block will also execute so let me save these changes and now if i run this code see it says hello try block execution completed and also else block executed and it says everything went good and uh, if if there is any error inside this try block code then else block will not run let me save these changes now let me try to run this code see now it printed only something went wrong why because this code execution failed and it went to accept and it executed this code but else didn't run but finally will always run so if i if i keep saying like finally and inside the finally block let's try to print saying like uh, uh, it's finally block okay now whether this try block will run good or bad it won't care in all the cases finally block will run so let me save these changes here now if you see this will fail it will go to accept block and then it will come to finally block as well so now let me execute this code see it print something went wrong because of this accept block and then it printed finally it's finally block because of this this code and if if everything goes fine still finally will run so let me change this code here now try will successful and it will print hello and then it will come to else it will print this after that it will print this as well let me execute this code here now see it printed hello then everything went good and also it printed finally block as well so finally will run in all the cases usually when finally block will be used is whenever you want to close any objects or you want to clean any resources in that cases people usually use it so let me show you this with some practical so let's go to file explorer let's try to create one sample file here so maybe let me name it like uh, sample.txt okay and inside this sample.txt file i am having a content saying like maybe hello that's it nothing more okay now let me close this text file here now there is something called open function okay so this open function lets you to open any file okay so i want to open the same sample.txt file okay and then uh, let me uh, whatever the file object gets created using this open function i am storing it inside the variable called f and then on it i am trying to use this write function using this write function i can write some content into that file maybe i will write saying mahir basha let me save these changes now if you closely observe here we are opening file but this open function will also accept mode so whether you want to open the file to append the data or to write the data so if you want to write the data you need to pass this flag w so now what will what this code will do this code will actually open this file and it will write mahir basha into this sample.txt file so let me save these changes here and now let me clean this here now if i execute this code code executed successful now if i go to sample.txt file see i can see mahir basha now previously it was mahir uh, hello right it it was not there now now it is mahir basha why because my code did that right so now if i remove this w here and this time maybe let's try to print maybe let's try to write like hello world maybe now what will happen you are not specifying the mode when you are using the open function so this is going to error out so let me execute this code here see it is it is not able to write it so there is some error right so with this example if you see here we are opening a file we are trying to write if write may be successful or unsuccessful depending upon the case to case but we are not closing our file anywhere any place right so in such cases people usually use like finally block because if you see whether our write operation will success or not still we want to close our file so whether our try block will execute good or bad still we want to execute a finally block to make sure we close the object right so in such cases 
we have to use the finally block so what we can do here we can keep this inside the try block okay and uh, let me remove this and let me add a uh, space here as well and uh, so if if you if, if, if something wrong there then in the accept block i am going to print saying something went wrong okay and then maybe i will use a finally uh, else block else block will run when the uh, 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 when this code try code execute successful right so here i will print saying file written success okay and finally block will run at any cost right if the try is uh, try is going to be good or bad still finally will run so here i will try to use this close function to close the file whatever i opened why because i want to close that object so usually that is the best habit to close your objects or to clean your resources the moment your job is done so in this if you see this particular example uh, this finally block will make sure to close the file whether the file return operation will success or failure let me save all these changes now let me clear this if i run this see it printed something went wrong but still this code might have executed to make you sense that what i will do here i am simply trying to print finally block okay so let me save these changes and now let me rerun this see it executed finally block and after that it might have closed that file as well even if i try to make sure this code execution is successful by adding the mode into the open function still it will print so now if i execute this code see it says file return successful and it closed the file as well so in such cases we will use this finally block actually so the same example uh, or similar example was shown here as well okay so this this, this example is similar the same example okay so not only that um for example you can use multiple except blocks as well in your code if you want to catch any specific error and try to do some kind of operation there or or if if that specific error is not there some something else came so finally this this last except block will be anyways be running so if you want to do such kind of operation you can use this multiple exceptions as well so let me do one thing let me try to do the same kind of example in my visual studio code here so what i want to do try and inside the try i am trying to print x so if it is uh, except here i will print saying something wrong okay something went wrong okay let me save these changes if you if you uh, let me minimize this uh let me comment it out this entire code and then first let me try to use this only print x let me save these changes and now let me execute this python file now see it is throwing error and this error type is name error right so what i can do i can try to catch this exception so instead of catching all the generic ex exceptions using this except block sim like this what i can do if 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 the exception is going to be name error right name error how i know this name error you see the the error name is name error right so if the exception is going to name error then come here and uh, print this statement whatever i write here so i here i can say it's name error let's assume okay if if this code is not going to give name error if this code is going to some other error then it will come and print this one or else if the exception is going to be near name error type then this will run and it will print that so let me save these changes now let me clear this if i execute this code see it says it's name error why because this code executed and this code didn't executed let me do one thing let me try to do 10 divided by 0 let me save these changes now observe what will happen see it says something went wrong why because this code see whenever you try to uh, divide any number with zero then you are going to get a, a divide by zero error kind of thing right and the divide by zero error is not name error so this code didn't executed and it came into this print statement and it printed that so like this you can handle your multiple exceptions and you can declare multiple except blocks as well in your code okay so let me go to the next slide not only that you can forcefully raise exception also for some reason maybe you want to uh, uh, evaluate some logic if that logic is not there in your code then immediately you want to raise the exception manually by your own that is also possible so if you see here x is a variable 
right now it is holding a minus negative value so according to the uh, my logic maybe i don't want x variable to hold any negative values so so i am validating that condition here if it is less than 0 or not if it is less than 0 then i am trying to raise a exception and in the exception i am saying okay no negative values are allowed or no non zeros are allowed something right so i i am manually throwing some exception because of my own requirement and validation so let me do this practically here let me remove all this code let's let's assume x is a variable and it contains a value minus one so what i want i don't want negative value so maybe according to my logic i am trying to see whether x value is uh, less than zero or not if it is less than zero then what i want to do i want to raise the exception so for that we need to use this raise keyword and exception to the exception function you pass whatever the message you want to pass i can say like negative values are not allowed i can say this let me save these changes now if i execute this code see uh, it is going to print okay once again okay something wrong with it here actually we should not use we should use exception class here we are using exception function so it is capital e so exception class will help you to give the exceptions now let me clear this and let me run this code now see this time it says negative values are not allowed whatever the message i passed it will throw with that and if you see the exception name is exception right so like this you can manually raise exceptions by your own using this raise keyword as well okay so let me go to pre presentation uh, i think that's it in this video i hope you got idea how to use try accept else finally blocks and we using all these blocks how to do the error handling properly in the python if you haven't clear please watch this video multiple times so that you will get make sense of it this concept is very important in real time actually thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you